What is going on, guys? Great for today. Let's talk about furnishings and how something needs to be done about the amount of furnishings we can put in homes in the Elder Scrolls Online. I've talked about this in past videos. I'm sure I'll talk about it more in the future in uh, some other videos. But it, it just feels like even the big homes, to the, even down to the, some more of the medium-sized homes and games, just do not have enough room uh, for furnishings. Uh, when I look at some of the biggest homes and games, of course, with ESO Plus, you can get 700 furnishing slots. And I feel even if you did not have ESL Plus, you probably really should have access to more than 700 slots just because it is really hard to decorate a home and make it look full and make it look, each individual room look really nice when you only have 700 available pieces that you can put out. Now, some homes you can get away with it if they're designed, you know, where it's not really big open spaces and kind of smaller spaces. Uh, some of these bigger houses, you can decorate it to make it look more full. Um, the one issue that I always have with some of these really big homes with big open spaces is it's hard to decorate the outside and then go in on the inside and decorate like your kitchen or something, for example. Uh, something that's going to take a lot of small pieces. So a kitchen, if you're going to have tables, chairs, you know, things to cook with, uh, you know, fireplaces, fire pits, whatever the case may be, you know, your plates, your bowls, your cups, uh, that stuff takes up a lot of, uh, of, you know, furniture space, but to really make a kitchen look proper in game, in my opinion, it's going to take a lot of pieces that can be said for any room though. I mean, there's a lot of houses I have that some of the bigger homes in game that just the bedrooms or the, you know, the kitchen or things to be able to fit all the furniture in every room. Some things just kind of have to be left, not really bare, but it just does not look like, you know, you're, you can just tell you weren't able to do a lot with it because of the limit of, uh, of the amount of furniture we can have in a home. I really hope they look at this and I understand that there, this could be some issue with, you know, UI problems or, or, freezing of the game or, or whatever the case may be. I know that it's on the development side. It's not just as easy as throwing in some extra, you know, space or some extra, you know, uh, ability to have extra, you know, furniture in all these spaces. But I wish they would really look at this because that's one reason I've talked about in, in some of my housing tour videos that I like some of the medium or smaller homes in game, because even though they don't have a lot of furniture spaces, even in a smaller home, but it feels like you can get those more filled up that they just look like they're more filled because they're not a, as a big a house, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, I just hate that you have to, I mean, a lot of people have kind of resorted to, uh, closing off certain parts of the really big houses and blocking them off so you can access them that way they can fill up whatever places they want. And I, I feel if you're going to spend like real money, if you're going to go out and buy, you know, crowns with real money and buy one of these massive homes and you have to go in and actually close off parts of it. You can't even use the entire thing because you just don't have enough room for when it comes to furnishings. Uh, I, I don't know if I really like that or really agree with it. Like I said, I understand that it's not easy on the development side, but at the same time, I wish they would do something about it. Um, overall, I'm, I'm looking in my opinion, I think without ESO plus, if you want to be honest, uh, about a thousand slots for the really big houses would be nice. And if you have ESO plus maybe 2000 slots, I, I don't know if that's ever going to be possible, but it's just, it just feels like a lot of these homes uh, that you go to, even the ones that I have that are really massive feel bare. And even some of the more mid-sized homes kind of feel the same. It's just, it is really hard to decorate outside and inside and make it feel like a, you know, a fully decorated house when you have a limit on slots. And another thing, and I'm going to make a separate video about this in general, uh, kind of at some point, but if you have a, a, you know, a guild hall or what you use as your guild hall and you have some people in the guild or the guild owner that's nice enough to get out all the Munda stones and all the ta uh, crafting tables, you know, if you're a tunable tables out there. So you have all the sets in the game in one spot that's taking up a lot of room too. I mean, it's going to get to the point eventually where we have way too many crafting tables. Uh, and I don't know how they're going to fit them all in the house. I mean, right now you're looking at four or five hundreds, what you're going to have in home. Uh, eventually you're probably going to have 700 crafting tables. And then I don't know exactly how you expect to have, you know, a, a proper guild hall. You can't have all the crafting tables and all the Munda stones and target dummies and things like that you know, within your house. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. What would you like to see kind of number wise when it comes to furnishings? And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.